So today we're going to draw snow people. They could be either singing or saying, ooh, it's snowing. Look at what's happening. Ooh, exciting. And we're gonna start with ovals and then we'll build on that in our design. So let's start with a fresh piece of paper. Get yourself a pencil. I used crayon. I used white crayon for the snow. And then I did a wash, which means more water than paint, of watercolor across the whole paper so that the white snowflakes appear. They're just circles of white crayon. Because crayon, we know, is made of wax. And paint, watercolor paint, does not stick to wax very well. So it's a good way to have that effect of the snow. So the first thing we want to do is start with the first character and that's an oval. So let's put it here and let's put it in right in the middle of the paper. So we draw an oval, not too big, but big enough to fill so that we have two, space for two more. Now we're going to have the other snow person behind with another oval and then our next friend behind that. I'm not sure where to put them. Okay, so here we go. Now, we're going to make the little nose high up on the paper towards the top of the oval. Not touching, because you need room for the eyes. So I'm going to do one oval, two ovals. I'm making them face each other a little bit more than I did in my last drawing. Because this one, they're going to be singing. Okay? And then the eyes, I'm going to make very skinny ovals. Almost like they're singing their hearts out and their eyes are closed. I love doing that. You're singing in the shower, nobody knows that you're singing, and you just close your eyes and enjoy it. I'm just fixing my oval here, so it looks like it's part of that. And then let's make big open mouths. Ooh, we're singing! In harmony. Now this time, before I can add my scarves, I wanna add a book as if it's music notes. One. Yeah, going off the bottom and I'm just going to add a little mitt as if the middle one has a mitt holding the music for us. Okay, so I could add maybe some music papers. This should go down. I always draw with pencil and then I trace with a Sharpie later on. Now, to make the scarves, I just made rectangles that have curves and a little line to give it a little character. Okay, so to draw that, I'm gonna just erase the bottom of their chins because I want the scarf to keep them nice and toasty warm so it's gonna overlap their chin a little bit. So I'm going to go over and down that. Now this guy, just like that, and you can add you can't see it there, so you see the snow, but there's no snow there. So on this guy, this is the scarf coming down. Maybe there's another one that goes off the bottom. And that goes off the side. And this is going to be a scarf. And this one, the same thing. I add the knot. Let this one go off the bottom. I make that a long, long scarf. You go in and out. Just like that. Now that's done. If you want to add a hat, that would be cute. But now is the time to start tracing. But I'm going to trace not with a Sharpie. I'm going to use a crayon this time. All right, friends. It might be better to trace all of the lines after you color. You'll see why in a minute. So to make snow or the snow people look like the light is shining on them and their shadow. Of course, I want to erase a little pencil. I'm going to use a blue, or in this case, this is a blue-green. And anywhere a shape is overlapping a bigger shape, that's where I'm going to be putting the blue. So I imagine the light is coming from this side, the sun, and it's making a cast shadow. And that's what I use the blue for. And on this side of each of the snow people, you have shadow. Oh, I didn't do this one, so I'm just going to do that quick. See how I just add a little shadow? When a shape touches another shape, it creates a shadow. Definitely in there. That's cute. So here we go. 
So let's make it look like icy snow. So I make my shadow. It's just like I did in the other one. I'm making the sun coming from the right. And I'm curving the same shape of the snowman or snow girl. So this is the side of the face. Just like that. Now the nose is 3D, so I want the nose to look like it's coming off of the surface. So I mimic the shape. Just like that. I'll do it again for this little nose. Actually it's a big nose. And this one, follow along that. So that's it. Right now, this looks like he has a dirty nose, but wait till I'm done and you'll see how it looks like shade. And then on this side of the snow person, and then underneath the scarf, I make it rounded, just like that. And this one is definitely in a shadow. That's a scarf, so I don't need that. I'm just going to do a little tiny bit. I know the sun is on that side, but make a little bit of a shade. Just helps make the look, make the scarf look 3D. Okay, I think that's it on the snow. Now to move on to the carrot noses, but they're not really carrots, but that's okay. I just fill it in my carrot color. I like that they're round, not carrots. You can do whatever you like. But if you want to follow what I'm doing, I made them ovals. I think on this one, I traced after I colored. Because look what's happening, because I traced first. So what do you think? Which works better? I agree, the first one, where I traced after I did all of my coloring. That way you don't have these little smears. You can scratch them away. I chose crayons. You can use markers, you can use watercolor, whatever you like to use. Oil pastels. There we go. So now next step is going to be the scarves. So that's gonna be a little time consuming. So I'll let you watch as I do fast time lapse. When you're doing your scarves, come up with an interesting pattern. Let's see, maybe simple circles, rectangles, hearts, stripes, and when you go to the edge, make it part of a shape, especially here, um, the part that wraps around his neck. Maybe fill it in with a different color if you'd like, or if the same color. It is your pattern. You design the textile, the fabric that's used to make your scarf. markers, you can use crayons, it is completely up to you. I would use a color around that just to make it interesting because if you leave it white it blends in with the snowman. If you like blending, this is a good time to try blending. That's kind of fun. You can do a tie-dye effect when you're blending your colors. But remember whatever your collar or the part that goes around the neck is the same or similar to the part that's hanging because that really, oh, I forgot here. That is just an extension of what's wrapped around his neck. Let me try that. I forgot that that was there. Okay. So have some fun with your patterns. I'm gonna keep coloring. white crayon and I'm, you can do snowflake design like that or you can just make circles. Maybe I'll do both this time. I'll do circles. I know you can't really see it in the lighting but when I use the watercolor or the wash of color you'll get to see it. So I'm just going to put some circles and I color them in. Press real hard. Don't break your crayons but hard enough where the wax actually will resist the paint. Now I'm going to do snowflake shape. So it's an X and then a line through the X. 
and then you can just put little marks going around. You'll see it once I do it. So an X and a line through the X. And you can put little dashes or dots around it. Do a couple more. It's hard to see where my circles are. Dot, 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 dot. One more, and then I'll do the watercolor X, a line through the X to do the snowflake. Okay, let's see what happens when I add the watercolor. All right, to do a wash, I have actually in here tempera cake, and then I added water. And this tempera cake, once you activate it with water, it becomes paint. Now you can use your watercolor set, I don't have watercolor at Canaan right now. We're waiting for them to be shipped. I have them at my house, but I'm not at my house. So I'm making my water turn to paint just by activating the cake. You see the cake in there, this little thing? It's on my finger. All right, so once I have some wash of blue, I put newspaper underneath or anything so you don't paint your table. And I just paint straight across, and you can probably see it right away. See that? Look at that. There's the snowflake. And the little circles of snow in the sky. Don't make it too dark. Just a wash. Kind of an icy sky. It's snowing. And they're singing in the snow. Maybe they're doing some caroling, or just singing about kindness and things that make us happy. There we go. We're singing about winter. So do you notice the blue is nice and light and it reflects the idea that the shadows on the snowmen are also blue. The blue is being picked up from the sky like a reflection. And once it dries, you can hang it up. Have fun friends and happy winter solstice.